Do you have a hard time saying I'm sorry to your partner? Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. This is what we're going to talk about today because I think a lot of us have a hard time saying we're sorry. It's not easy admitting you're wrong or you're, or you, you're at fault for something. Being able to apologize to someone shows a strength. People look at it as a weakness. It's something that, oh, if I say I'm sorry, I'm admitting I'm wrong. Yeah. You are admitting you're wrong, and that's a good thing. We're not always perfect. We don't come with, with the book on how to do everything. So why do we think that we know everything? We don't. And so if in your relationship you have a situation where you, you flat out know you messed up and you're, you're wrong about this particular scenario, the quicker that you learn to accept it and apologize, the quicker you move on within your relationship. This can be a really good thing. A little fight here and there is is actually a, a step in, in a better direction in your relationship because it, you're, you're looking at things in a different way. You're also not just stuck in a routine that everything's the same, boring all day in and day out. You're challenging each other sometimes and sometimes with challenges comes a little aggression, a little bit of anger and maybe some things that are said not the way they should be said. Learning how to say your story in a relationship helps you evolve outside of your relationship as well. Because when you can own stuff that maybe you need to work on, you need to change up, that helps you in every other area of your life. Work, friendships, um, maybe sports teams that you're on, things like that where you can learn how to, to be more accommodating and be more accepting. When you know how to say sorry, it's you're validating your partner's feelings. When you validate your partner's feelings, it makes them feel hurt. They, they know that you, you listen to them, you're going to work on it, you're going to change up something that maybe is a problem within your partnership. Maybe this is something that's been going on for a while that needs to be addressed. And this is two-way street. I'm not just saying it's one person who's always at fault here. And if you're feeling like you're always the one saying, I'm sorry, over and over and over again, well, maybe your, your relationship's a little bit lopsided and needs to be discussed in that direction as well. Sometimes we don't know that we're controlling. Sometimes we come across a little bit too much. And we have to sit down and look at ourselves in the mirror. And the way we do that is we humble ourselves by saying, I'm sorry. We accept what our partner is telling us and we think, maybe we can change this up a bit. Maybe we can make it a better place so that it's, it's more of a compromise here. Because if somebody is saying the same thing to you over and over again, you really do want to listen to it because there is something that might be aggravating your partner that you don't know or you don't think it's that bad. But sometimes those small things become really bad, big things. And that's what ends a lot of relationships. Relationships that last for long, you know, many, many years, it's because they communicate. They, they love each other enough to work on the things that are a problem. Because come on, everybody has f fights in their relationships and problems in their relationships. So the sooner a couple understands that we all make mistakes, we all have faults, and we all need to apologize, the sooner that relationship will keep growing and evolve into a higher place. The reason people last for a long time is because they communicate. They talk to each other about everything. They fight, they make up, and they apologize. If you can say sorry to your partner and own your mistakes in your relationship and talk about them, you're going to have a really strong partnership down the road. If you keep staying in denial about that it's never your fault, you're not doing anything wrong, it's always your partner is the one that's the problem, eventually it's going to be a problem, a big problem. So look, look at the whole thing and don't hold it against your partner once you do say sorry. Don't hold it against them later and bring it up again saying, but I don't think I was really wrong. I don't think I was the problem. Own it, accept it, move on from it, and don't bring it up all the time. That is something that a lot of people are guilty of. They don't know when to stop having the same argument. Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel. 
and come and visit me at cybersue.com. I have lots of posts and, and videos up there and advice, um, and advice column as well. So thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Bye.